24 people in his house, 24 people according to you for maybe lunch and dinner. Well, if they're there for lunch and dinner, what are they going to do during the day? Well, maybe there are other activities that they can do in Hot Springs, Arkansas, but a pool is a very attractive thing to have, and I assume was one of the reasons you rented his house, that he had a pool. Yes, for my... Uh, okay, well, that's clear. So he said, you can't have all those people in the house. And he said, and I have cameras. That's what he says in his answer, and I have cameras. Mm -hmm. So is that what the discussion turned on? Yes, ma'am. And then he proceeded to tell me that all those people going in and out of his house would run his electricity bill up and that the, we would probably tear up the lining in his swimming pool and that when he saw more people than that there, that he would go out and turn off the electrical breaker, that he had had to do it many times to run people off. So, well, you were breaking your agreement with him. But we wouldn't have that many in a pool because most of them are our age and 80-something years old, which don't swim. Well, <laughs> so that's... Doesn't matter. You were going to bring twice as many people into his home as you agreed to bring into his home. And he had every right to say to you, that's a breach of our agreement. I mean, if one of the reasons you rented his house is because it had a pool, and when you arrived there, you found that he had emptied the pool and there was no water in the pool, would you feel as if he had breached the lease? Yes, ma'am. Because you rented a house with a house and a pool. And he leased his house to you for this short vacation period for 12 people, not for 24. So we said you can't have 24. Now, if you had agreed to have only 12 in the house, he would have said fine. He told me that we would get our money back, that he had people looking at the house already. We would get our money back. I don't believe and he said that to you. That doesn't sound right. I believe he said to you, if I can rent the house, because it's you're there already. You're supposed to start the rental. If I can rent it for this week, I'll give you your money back. Yes, but, your Honor. Or you could have just said to him, I know what I agreed to here. Mm -hmm. We will only have 12 people in the house. And if the other house, where the other seven people were staying, could have accommodated 20, you have your parties there, right? That's correct, as far as that goes. Right. If you have an agreement with this gentleman not to have more than 12 people in the house, and he says you can certainly have the property, but you have to agree to more than 12 people, and if I see that there are more than 12 people, I'm going to run you out of here. And it was your decision to say, this is where we want to have our party. So you went and you rented someplace else. And when you rented someplace else, you rented it in Hot Springs? Yes, ma'am. Did it have a pool? No, ma'am. So where did you go with your 12 people? We went to Lake Arkansas State Park in a cabin. Okay. And where did you all get together, all 24 of you? At the State Park. Only at the State Park? You mean you didn't go to the other house that could have accommodated 20? Your husband just told me that the house that the seven people rented could have accommodated 20. Right. We actually went to where the grandkids was, were, where they actually were playing in water and stuff. You know, the older adults went and stayed at the other house. Your Honor, may I say something? Um, I, I also wanted to make accommodations because the day before she said they would only have three people extra. So I came up with a no party policy uh, that we've used before that says we will allow up to three additional guests up to the 12 and did she tell you that there would be three other people the day before she did and then that day i'd ask her just a second so the day before she arrived she said that they may have three extra i had people. called her because as usual when you have 12 people up to the limit sometimes people will try to fudge a little so i called up and i said i'm just confirming your number and can you tell me your number and she uh, i have you down as 12 she said there may be a few more i said how many is a few and she said, well, I'm not really sure. I said, I need an exact number, please. And she said, well, I th three, I think. And so now I'm starting to get some of my stomach going, wait a second, something's not right. So I told my wife, we have to bring the no party policy out. And we gave them the opportunity to have three at a time. I don't care which three it were, but I let her know that we have security cameras there. And if we see more, we have to come by and end the rental. And they would lose their security deposit. We gave them back their security deposit and uh, she didn't want to sign the paper. Did you re-rent the house for the week? No, Your Honor, people that do this kind of rental, usually January, February, March, like they do for big groups, will book a house with a pool far in advance. So Jesse, I opened Jesse. it up on the calendar and nobody booked. Well, you could have stayed there. You just couldn't have had any more than 12 people. That was your choice. You don't get your money back. You broke the arrangement. That's it, we're done. Thanks.